Hey friends, my name is Waldo and Andy is currently moving house so he asked me to fill in for him for a little bit and today we're gonna take a look at how to supercharge your... What's it called again? Your multi-view in OBS and you might be thinking what is a multi-view? Well, don't worry, let's hop in. So, we're currently here in a blank OBS with just a couple of um, pretty simple scenes. I got a red one, a green one, a blue one, and an empty one. And if we go up to the uh, menu bar at the top and we go to view, you will see multi-view. You can either do it in full screen, which will take, an, which will take over an entire monitor, or you can do it windowed. For now, I will show you the windowed nodes. And what multi-view is, is basically a visual overview of your current OBS setup. You got your preview and your program, which is basically the same as the, the thing you're currently streaming. But the difference between the preview and the program is that the program is the actual thing you're sending out to Twitch, to YouTube, or whatever you're streaming to. And the preview is what you get if you are going into studio mode. So in there, you can set up your next scene, make sure it's all fine. Those lines will help you to guide it, to make sure no information is cut off, everything is visible. And you might have seen this in a professional setup where a director of a program is like, okay, in five seconds, that looks nice. In five seconds, we go to the red scene and go and then the program switches over to the red scene um but also they can might might be like okay you know what that was great but we need to run an ad and they go to the ad break this portion of the video is sponsored by owned pro are you tired of listening to the same royalty free music well owned pro have got your back they've recently just partnered with epidemic sound so with their plus membership you will actually get access to a huge library of music and sounds that are all completely royalty free and what's better you can save yourself a huge 50 percent off your membership using offer code andy50 pro all the links are in the description and they go a huge way to support the channel thank you own pro for sponsoring this portion of the video so the multi view in obs allows you to visually run your stream you can see all your views at all your scenes at once and you can click to switch between them but there is a problem i have no way to select which scenes i want to have in my multi view maybe there are some scenes in here that are just my intermediate scenes that I use to composite my other scenes and I don't want them there so there is a nice tool created by a wonderful community developer um, it is a tool called Dirk Blick it is created by Universal P it allows you to have a modular OBS multi view let's take a look we're gonna hop on over to the OBS website where we can download Duke Bleak. I hope I pronounced it right, but it's a tool developed by Universal P. And it says it right on the tin, it's a modular multi-view for OBS Studio. Let's just download the installer and go through the steps. You probably know already how it goes. You got the installer and you drip click next a bunch of times and it is installed. You can also download the um, bin downloads, which means you need to copy the OBS files straight to your OBS installation. But in most cases, that won't be needed and you can just download the installer and go on with your day. All right, let's jump back into our OBS. That's not what I wanted to show. 12 seconds later. All right, now that we got Dirkblick installed, we can open up our multi-view again. But instead, of going to view and then multi-view, we go to tools and then Dirkblick. And the same kind of window shows up. You can still click to go to your scenes, but this is the great part. Now you can pick and choose which scenes are displayed in your multi-view. So for example, if I don't want this ad break anymore, I can right click and select clear cell. 
And now you will see there's no longer a ad break scene for me to go to. So I can fully customize which scenes I want to be here. Um, for example, maybe I don't really use the, gr the blue scene all that much. But I do use the green scene and I want it to be a little bit more visible. I can right click, hold my right button and drag over. So these four are selected and I say set widget. And in here we get a little pop up, which we can do a source display, a scene display or a preview slash program display, which are those two at the, uh, at the top. In my case, I want a scene display and I want to set it to the green scene. And if I press OK, I will get one big green display that I can go to. So this is extremely handy if you want to have a visual overview of your OBS and use that to switch around to different scenes. But maybe you're a mad lad and you've got a bunch of scenes and this just isn't enough. Well. What you can do is you can right click and go to layout config and you can increase the amount of cells that Duplik has and you got endless possibilities. All right, thank you for watching the video and especially thanks to these people for supporting Andy's channel. Um, like I said, he's currently away, but if you want to see more of me, you can find me on twitch.tv slash friends. And I might post a video here and there on this channel while Andy is still moving house. So we wish him all the best and hopefully I will see you back soon. Take care.